I'm Phil Gale. Welcome to the programme. The US House of Representatives is caught in a historic gridlock after its first day under Republican rule. Hard right lawmakers have blocked the election of a majority leader by refusing to vote for the front runner, which is usually a formality. Senior Republican Kevin McCarthy had been tipped for the post, but his previous criticism of former President Donald Trump moved his colleagues on the far right of his party to back other candidates. It's the first time in 100 years the leadership vote has failed in the first round. Well, Peter Matthews can guide us through this. He's Professor of Political Science at Cypress College in Long Beach, California. Oh, welcome to DW, Professor. What do you think? Is this a sad Thanks. day for democracy, as we just heard? And not only sad, but it's chaotic, and it's a very dangerous situation because there's so many things threatened right now. If the Republicans cannot find a speaker or get find enough votes to get the speaker in place, the United States is facing a debt ceiling crisis. So if they don't raise the debt ceiling in Congress, then what happens is the U.S. defaults on its loans. It uh, holds back on the budgeting process. There's a lot of problems that will cause financially. And not only that, but there are many other kinds of issues at stake here that need to be done, immigration reform, climate change. All that will be held back completely until this is settled. And this is also very unnerving for other allies of ours to see around the world actually what's going on. And so what does this chaos tell us about the state of the Republican Party? Mike Garcia. It tells us the party is not ready to, ready to govern. And even though it was elected by a very small, bare, simple majority in the House, they're, they're so divided. Twenty of them refused to vote for uh, McCarthy for Speaker, uh, Congressman McCarthy for Speaker. And that was way too short. In fact, the Democratic uh, nominee for speaker who was put up there just for fun, basically, uh, Mr. Hakeem, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, received, I think, about uh, 212 votes to 202 votes from McCarthy. He got more votes than the, the potential speaker. It tells us the Republican Party is in total disarray it's because of the MAGA Republicans. Uh, many of them found the Freedom Caucus that are stopping the support for McCarthy. And that's also connected to President Trump. Even though President Trump supports McCarthy, is totally chaotic in that party right now. OK, so chaos ahead. Let's deal with this problem first. Do, do you think McCarthy will eventually get the support he needs? That is really very difficult to say because he just doesn't have the numbers. And what's dividing these people is that the far-right Freedom Caucus members are opposing McCarthy especially. They wanted him to concede a lot of things. They said, we have to make it easier for us to be able to, to get the speaker to step down. It's called a vote of no confidence in Britain. But today in the United States, it's called a motion to vacate. That's what the Freedom Caucus wanted to be able to get rid of the speaker at any time that they didn't agree with him. He wouldn't go for the full amount. He did, in fact, concede some of that to them. He conceded. But he wouldn't go all the way to make it easier for them to get him out of office if they need to. They didn't like that. They didn't like the fact that he, that he also started demanding committee assignments, which, of course, he's not obligated to give them. And there was too much of a demand put on the McCarthy side, on McCarthy himself, by this right-wing uh, okay. extremist, that I don't think it's going to happen with McCarthy. We don't know, but who's going to be the alternative? We don't know that either at this right. point. So whoever does become Speaker, what do you think this fractured Republican majority in the House of Representatives is going to mean for the Biden administration? Well, that just depends if enough moderate Republicans can be peeled away to vote with the Democrats on key issues that President Biden wants to push forth, then things will get done. But we don't know if the Republicans, the moderates, would actually join the Democrats in some key votes, for example, on the infrastructure bill uh, that they need to get climate change under control. There's so much more to be done on the financial side and on issues like health care. We don't know if there will be enough uh, Republicans that will join the Democrats to make a viable majority in the House to pass the laws. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's not a parliamentary system, as you know. You've made that very clear, uh, and uh, thank you for guiding us through that. Professor Peter Matthews from Cypress College in Long Beach, California. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.